What's good YouTube, Ben here. Welcome to the next video on the channel. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to create a portable installation of OBS Studio. Let's get into this. Hey guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, please, because they really do help me to get found. Don't forget to turn on notifications to be notified of all uploads and live streams, and don't forget to join me on my socials. Those are all linked down below. Okay, let's get in. So a portable version of OBS Studio could be useful for quite a few different things. Uh, say if you want to take your own OBS on the go, in which case you want to record on different computers. Or like me, if you stream on both YouTube or Twitch, um, I have custom installations for one for YouTube, one for Twitch. So if I want to stream on Twitch, I use this one. If I want to stream on YouTube, I hit this one. Because different settings, different layouts and all that kind of stuff. So... In order to do this, you're going to want to create a folder on wherever you want to save your local installation. In this case, I'm going to use desktop, so just create a new folder called OBS. You're then going to want to go to your browser, and I'm going to put this link in the description down below, beneath all my links. Don't forget to check me out on those. But once you're on this page, go ahead down to where it says releases and click on this. As of recording, the most recent version of OBS is OBS Studio 29.1.3. So click on that, and it'll take you to this. Now, you want to scroll down until you find assets. So assets are down here, and it might look like this with nothing underneath it. In this case, just hit assets, and it'll open up all of this. Now, most people, if you want to install OBS, you will just want to hit the full installer EXE. We do not want to do this, because we're going to want the zip file. So that's this one, OBS Studio. In my case, 29.1.3. Yours will be different depending on the time you watch this and if there's any new updates. So when you see the .zip, just download it. Now, I don't need to download it because I've already got it, so I'm just going to cancel, but obviously you let it download. Once you've done that, you want to open up the downloaded folder. In this case, it's this one. And inside of it, you'll see three folders, bin, data, and OBS plugins. So with OBS plugins, well, sorry, with the folders, you just want to quickly drag and drop all of them into the folder. Again, I do not need to do this since I've already done it, but let them copy over. It'll take a couple of minutes. Once you're in the custom destination folder, what you want to do is you want to go into the bin folder. Quick intermission, guys. Did you know that only 11.3% of you are subscribed to the channel? Don't forget to hit that sub button down below because it would really help us grow. Thank you. 64-bit. And scroll down until you see obs64.exe. Right-click this. Now, if you're on Windows 11 like I am, it'll come up with a menu like this. If you're on Windows 10, it'll come up with the next menu. But on Windows 11, you want to hit Show More Options. And this is what will appear if you're on Windows 10. So you want to quickly create a shortcut. Now, you can rename this if you want. I mean, it's preferable that you do because you don't want that to just be called the shortcut. So we'll just call this OBS. Once you've done that, drag it. I'm going to put this icon on the desktop. So that we can literally just click this and open OBS. But you do not want to open OBS yet. What you want to do is you want to go back into the folder. And in the main folder where all these three folders are... Right click and hit new and hit text document and then type portable underscore mode. Oh, it's already got dot text. Hit enter. Now, when you click on this shortcut to take you into OBS, it should pop up as a brand new installation separate of all of this. So as you can see, the auto configuration wizard has appeared. That means that this is now a portable version of OBS. And for more proof at the top, it says portable mode. That's now its own version of OBS contained within that folder. If you want to see more like this, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell to be notified of all uploads and live streams because I do upload daily and I live stream most days. Whenever I go live, I either go live here on YouTube or on Twitch. So don't forget to follow me on both platforms. And don't forget, you can also join my other socials like Discord. I have a nice chill community. I'm sure you guys would like it. And you can also support the channel further by becoming a channel member from as little as 99p per month here in the UK or about $1.30 in America. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.